Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me tonight wanting to know how to put a star equally around the border of a circle. And I'm going to show you a couple of things first. I draw everything in the center page. So I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to select both those items and I'm going to hit T and it's going to send that to the top of the page. Now there's two ways you could, or there's more than two ways, but one way you could do this would be to take your star, take you two lines, go from the center out to that edge, from the center out to that edge, take your parallel dimension tool and get your angle dimension, go from there to there and then let go of your mouse and then go to there and you come up with the dimensions of 15.66. I'm going to show you another way to do that that isn't that quick, but some people might feel more assured with it. I've already pre-drawn a circle to save time in the video that's the exact size or almost the exact size of our star across the deepest tips because this is what's going to be relative. You know, the outside circle isn't going to be relative. If you divided that, you'd be way off. But if now you're going to divide the part of the circle where the where the star is actually going to go through. So that circle that I pre-drew is 10.994. 10.994 times pi is 3.14 equals 34 inches, 34.52 inches. So that circle, if you cut it out and made a wheel out of it, when it would roll on the ground, it would roll, you know, 34 inches. Now we're going to divide that by our star, which is an inch and a half, and we come up with 23.01. And I'm rounding some of these things off, and I'm going to show you the difference. So we're going to round that to 23. 360 divided by 23 is... 15.65 and if you remember the angle we just did was 23.66 so one one hundredth of it off so we need if we remember 15.65 we're going to click on our star and make a duplicate of it control D we're going to double click on it and we're going to move our rotation to the center sometimes it doesn't look like it gets on the center but it actually did. Now we're going to go up here and rotate this 15.65. Now inside of Corel, I don't know why it doesn't do this, but it make a duplicate. It doesn't do it the first time. So you know what? I went 16. Let's back up here. Let's change this to 15.65. Now control D. And we're going to rotate it this time, double that, which is 31.3. Now Corel Draw will finish putting them around the circle. Just he keep hitting Control D. And they are equally spaced. And then you would just get rid of your circle. And there you have 23 stars equally put. It's probably too close to the edge for, for comfort for me. But you could do a numbers of, numerous of things. To fix that, one, you could just have your nudge factor set real high and just get this out of the way. Control G on your keyboard to put them together. And see, we're a little bit off because of the shape of the star in the middle. So let's just reduce this just a hair. Hit P on the keyboard. Get our circle back. Hit P on the keyboard. And now our stars are still equally apart, but they're not quite to the edge. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.